Hi, Dave. Thank you for being here with us in today's conference. I also know you're one of the speakers today. Uh, do let us know, is it your first time in Saudi Arabia? You know, it, you know it is, and it's been such a wonderful time. Everyone has been so welcoming, and also the food is amazing. Well, that's lovely to know. Um, do you also know that Saudi Arabia has been ranked the second uh, this year, second time in a row as well, uh, in the Cybersecurity Index globally? Uh, so what do you think that means, or what is that reflected in Saudi Arabia's digital economy? Well, I think Saudi Arabia has some very aggressive goals with regards to the Vision 2030. Um, I think the, the leadership that you have really requires the best in class for cybersecurity. Um, we look forward to be partnering very closely with, uh, with Saudi uh, in, in helping to achieve your goals. Great. T talking about cybersecurity, it's um, something that's gaining great demand, um, spe specifically after the pandemic that took place because everybody's going through digitalization. But uh, talking about that, whose responsibility is it um, to increase the use of cybersecurity measures across different organizations? How can we start implementing that so it can trickle down to all levels of uh, businesses and organizations? Well, I, I think, you know, with the vision of transformation that the leadership has, we need to change the way that we view security. Security is no longer castle and moat. It's more around cloud, mobile. It's about um, enabling people to, the, you know, the digital artisans of, of tomorrow to actually do their best work. And that means that we need to innovate together with them. How can we increase accessibility? How can we make sure that all the businesses, uh, even if they're private, even if, they're, if they belong to the SME sector, um, have the awareness and have the accessibility to these measures? Well, you know, that's a really good question because at Cloudflare, our mission is to make the internet a better place for everyone. In actual fact, over 90% of our customers don't pay us anything. Um, we, we regard our requirement is to make the internet safer because fundamentally, the internet, internet could be the world's greatest invention. But unfortunately, it's not safe enough, it's not reliable enough, it's not private enough. That's why we exist. There's a lot of talk right now on the internet about ransom um, and uh, different challenges that are coming with it. What do you have to say about it? About ransomware? Well, you know, the, according to Deloitte, the number one uh, method of attack that a ransomware, in fact, 91% of all ransomware demands come in via email. And that's why we acquired Area 1 Security, because fundamentally, the, the way of um, blocking uh, phishing attacks and business email compromise uh, needs a, a, new, a new method. The attackers' investments in their technology has risen, so we need to invest in ours. That's why we acquired Area 1. What about cyber uh, uh, security and the different areas of cyber security when it comes to insurance? I mean, ensuring a more uh, secured and uh, safe uh, digital space. Is, is that air growing effectively? Well, you know, this is kind of in line with, you know, are you controlling everything yourself or are you um, outsourcing certain aspects to a cloud provider or a network provider like, um, like Cloudflare? And, you know, the relationship that you have with your provider of um, services needs to be a partnership. And that partnership needs to be where you share responsibility, um, where, for example, we're very good at doing providing network, cloud network services. We don't, however, own the endpoints. But the way that we integrate with endpoints is really important. That's the investments that we're making in our technology. With all the expertise that you have, can you pinpoint a few uh, key elements that you think uh, describe uh, organization to be um, digitally resilient in some way? You know, that's, that's a really good question. I think we just need to take another look at everything that we're doing and decide, you know, is it fit to help us achieve the goals of Vision 2030? And if it's not, how, how can we change that? I mean, what customers are telling us is that um, while security is important, security can be a great enabler. Uh, I was once with a CIO of a very large corporation and he told me that he had a half a billion dollar IT budget and there were 50 projects that he needed to accomplish. Ranked by cost, we were number 48, but ranked by importance, we were number two, because without securing um, mobile cloud and the network, they were unable to do a bunch of other cloud and mobile related applications. Wow, isn't that just mind boggling? Um, that, that's a lot of information, but hopefully you will be with us in our next ISC conferences in the coming years. What would you like to see next year? Um, I'd like to see some more practicalities around the, uh, the road towards um, uh, Vision 2030. You know, I'm really excited about the, um, the initiatives that are happening here, and I'd like to see you know, how that manifests itself and plays out. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us and giving us the opportunity to interview you. Thank you. Thank you.